Second innings by two and a half. Ark Regal came back to get second ahead in front of Academium third. Starless Century fourth. Zaville was fantastic, and it was the third horse to win the Guineas in the last four years for Colin Hayes. And for Michael Clark and Hayes, it was their fourth winner of the day. The Lightning Stakes is for the fastest horses in Australia, and Sydney's champion Colt Show County was the hot favourite. Out in the centre of the track, he was being hailed as the winner in the final stages. All Show County and Scarlet Bisk right out in the middle of the track are the joint leaders. Rosse Verde back near the inside. Lightning Ben got up on the inside of it. Two lengths to Street Rough in as they string out. Strawberry Ranchers pull right to the centre with Rodalva. Then Sun Along Lass struggling from Planet Ruler full on by. Show County about eight away from the fence in front. From Scarlet Bisk down to the 200 metre mark. Here's Rodalva putting in a run. Rodalva after Show County. Show County in front of the 100 metre mark. He's a length in front of Rodelva, pegging him back. Show County just in front. Rodelva's got on turns, put his nose in front, and Rodelva. Rodelva's got up to win from Show County. Two away, third is very tight. Strawberry Ranch or Street Ruffian. It was Rodelva's first Group 1 victory, but there appeared to be excuses for Show County. He looked very sore returning to scale, although his trainer, Max Wiggins, wasn't convinced straight after the race that the horse had been seriously hurt. Um, what's the problem? Well, I don't know. If, is, I, if, I, if I could help you, I would. Well, yeah, you do not know. Is, is he pull up lame? Well, he said he felt a bit scratchy. It doesn't appear much wrong with him to me, but he said he felt a bit scratchy. So, so his fingers just, crossed for a day, oh, so. Oh, we'll have a look at him, that's all, yeah. Yeah, thanks, Max. You think the, uh, well, the track obviously... Well, the track didn't help him. That was Tony Burke at the end from the Melbourne Age talking to Max Wiggins, but uh, Keith Hillier doing all the interviews there for Sports World and also Brian Martin's call. Now, it did look like uh, Show County was lame in the near foreleg. He's supposed to be running in the Oakley Plate next Saturday at, uh, at Caulfield, and there may be the new market, but those plans are right up in the air. Well, whilst Zabil was staking his claim to be the best three-year-old in Australia, two other three-year-olds were in brilliant form in Sydney. Joanne made it four wins from four starts, and she looks an outstanding sprinter whilst the Tommy Smith-trained key dancer should be a force in the derby following his excellent victory against older horses in the Apollo Stakes. Key Dancer, having his first start since winning the Australian Derby on Boxing Day, produced a spectacular performance. The three-year-old was trapped wide all the way, and the favourite for the race, Groucho, had an easy run in front. In the straight, the Tommy Smith train colt showed he could be one of the stars of this season. Around the corner and the hot pot, Groucho makes play a neck on Flotilla. Wider Key Dancer, then shame on you. And Kraken back over on the rails. Into the stretch and over the rise they come. By golly, Key Dancer's running a good race Groucho about a neck in front of Key Dancer a length and a half crack and back Flotilla's called it a day Key Dancer raced up to Groucho Groucho and Key Dancer are oh, Key Dancers hanging off the track Key Dancer in front of Groucho though and Shelley are running home but it's all Key Dancer and the three-year-old Colt Key Dancer beat Groucho third Shelley are followed by crack and back and Interstellar ran on well from shame on you Princeville Kenzai in the Royal Sovereign Stakes, Bart Cummings produced Shaftesbury Avenue for a first up win. This Kilding was having his first start since October the 2nd and was impressive in the final furlong. Shaftesbury Avenue, three quarters Majestic Boy holding him clear of Coconut Shy and Shaftesbury Avenue draws away from Majestic Boy and Shaftesbury Avenue a great return to beat Majestic Boy. Third Coconut Shy, then Vulcan Warrior, Mink Jack at so fast light before dawn. By the time the Phillies battled out the Lightfinger Stakes, the head Evans had opened up. The big interest in this race centred around the Oaks winner Tristanar and the unbeaten Joanne. Joanne covered extra ground but was ready to strike in the straight, whereas Tristanar came from a long way back and will be improved by the run. Joanne a length and a half second, third spirited way, Briskay losing ground, followed by Gin Rhythm at the 250, and Joanne is out after Antelier, the rider goes for the whip on Antelier, Joanne's doing better, and Joanne, oh gee whiz, she's a top filly, Joanne raced away from Antelier, then a good go, Tristan R with Jewel Treasure, Gin Rhythm, Starlight Angel, it'll get up for the third, or maybe even the second, third, but Joanne's walked in. Joanne beat Antelier, I think second, Starlight Angel and I catch a third, then Jewel Treasures, Tristan R. Well, as Ian Craig said, Joanne, most impressive there in winning in Sydney. She has a real engine inside that body of hers. And speaking of engines that go very fast, that's where we're going after the break.